Hello, welcome to Spy Money. Today is Thursday, October the 27th. It is about 11.33 Eastern Time in the morning. And what we're looking at is, um, I, I did some manual trading today and everybody was asking how I did it and what I use and um, how can it help them. So I'm only using four indicators. I'm using the Spy Money Balance. And then I'm using the initial balance, the IB. And I'm also using the SPY Money Bar Momentum and the SPY Money Institution Indicator. This institution indicator tells you when the, uh, they're buying and selling. And when it's orange, we stay out of it because they're just not really doing anything. And I come up with this little strategy. Uh, I've been looking at it for I don't know, a few weeks and a light bulb went off last night. And I started looking back at it and, and it's amazing how well this will trade. And I think I'm going to build a bot for it because I, I really think that this is something that could be utilized in an auto, stra uh, auto trading strategy. So, And I'm going to look at it some more before I do it, but I'm pretty sure this is what I'm going to do. But use these four indicators. With a bot, you wouldn't need the other two, but I would have those on the chart. And the bot, if we build it, I will have these on there. Manual trading, though, you can use it right now. It's really easy. If you look at these, these bars, the colors of these bars is based off of your institution indicator. And if you see the red, the institutions are selling the market. And your bar momentum, if you see red, the momentum is going down. It's not necessarily a, a short, but it is going down. And it just means that the uh, buying pressure and the selling pressure is actually pulling back. When you start seeing it go up like this, that is an indication that the buyers are really stepping into it. And then when you see, and you know, when it's like blue here, it's below the zero. But when it gets above the zero, they're really stepping it up. So when you look here, if we draw from the blue to the blue. So when you look up here, this is what you see. Now I think, um, I may have that to where it shows the background. I, I, I can't remember. Um, I don't like things on the background. I just want to see my, um, my bars. That's really that all I want to see. But if you have this, and if you just look at that, and it'll show that you know that is a potential long. And this right here will be a potential short. So if we take this one, we draw this out, I'll leave a little space there. That is a potential short. So when you see the colored bars here, when you see the orange, and the orange is above this zero, that's a good indication you could probably go long based on this bar momentum being blue. So when it's blue and this is orange above the line, like you can see the divergence coming in, which by the way, uh, working on now, let me look here, see if, um, no, don't have it back yet. Uh, also there's a general voice chat in the chat channels on Discord. Uh, you can also uh, chat there. I, I wanna, I'd rather actually have all the chat to be in that general voice. That way everybody can see what is uh, being said. Because when you type in this chat log, uh, we can't, uh, the others cannot see that. It's hidden. So on this one, we have blue here, and then we have when the uh, institution's coming up, but we have divergence. Okay, so when we when we come back, let me talk about divergence. Divergence is when this is coming down and this is coming up. Okay, and this one right here, if we come back, this one is the same line with that. But with this one, the bar momentum, it's showing that it's coming up. So divergence would be when this one is going the opposite direction of this one and that's going to be your divergence and when that happens that is a sign of reversal when all of these are going the same direction 
you just, you know, like for instance, if this is just going down, you would want to take shorts only. So for this one, uh, like right through here, that's going down, that's going down, this is going down, and you have a arrow right here from the institution saying short, and you've got the bar's momentum is coming down in a short, so what do you think you should do? You think you ought to go long here? No, you go short. So as soon as that comes in, if you look down, you see the red here, and everything's good, you hop in. That's not to say that it won't come down and come back up, which like this one, it come down, come right back to it, and then come down. But as long as you're staying red here, and you're staying below here, then you can stay in. Or you just take quick little scalps, like to the bottom of this one, if you would have got that, it's $300 a contract. You don't have to try to get this whole run. Most traders fail because they want to get in and take it to the bottom. And that's not the way I trade. I trade these little quick scalps. As soon as it starts coming in, I'm following these candles right here. So on this particular trade, this is the easiest way you'll ever trade your life. And you have to have these two indicators to do it. Uh, these are spy money specific. There's no other companies that have anything like this. This is something that's custom built and um, you, you won't find it anywhere. It's only with the Ninja Suite. So let's just say that you got in here because when this arrow pops or triangle pops up, it's not a closed bar. It's in this somewhere on through here that you'll enter. But when you see the red coming in here, and this green is starting to turn dark green. You don't get in right there. You just start watching. As soon as you get this orange bar, you know, you look down this orange bar and you're starting to come under that zero. That's a good indication that it's going to keep on going. So the best thing to do is wait for the triangle. And when that comes down, I am following these tops of the candles. So I would probably be stopped out at 165 nothing to sneeze at. You put 10 contracts behind that, you got $1,665 right there, or $1,650 right there. Uh, even just one contract, 165 you do that five times in a day, you know, you're up almost $1,000. So you could potentially make a lot of money doing that. So, and then when it starts coming up, we have this green arrow or triangle. Well, down here, we're down below. And this is, you know, not really giving us any sign to go long here. Um, you know, we're, we come down, we come back up, we look down here. This may not even be blue at that time. It may still be red and not be blue until it closes, so you don't go in. You just wait. When this comes up, it starts coming back down, you're back into the red. You're below the zero line. When you're below that zero line and you're red, you get an indication, you look for a short. Your shorts right here. So on this one, you're going to be entering somewhere on through here. The bottom of that's 170. If you can make $100 every time you scalp per contract, that's a good amount of money. You put five contracts, you got $500 a scalp. So when this comes back, now you're green right here. You're still down below the zero. So we are short bias right here. So we're just looking for shorts. Our trend is coming down. And we're you know, making lower lows right here. So we're looking for shorts. But we don't know for sure where to get in. So we look for our institution indicator to line up down here. Now this one, we have blue down here. So would you get in? No, you don't get in. It was a great trade, but you're blue. So you just stay out of it. Now you can get in. And if you did, you got in right here. You put your stop right up there. You know, say maybe one up, there's $130 if you put a stop in there somewhere, like previous camp bar, and try to ride it out. But the more more than likely, based on what I've seen, if this is blue, you just don't get in. Just wait. There's always another trade. You don't have to have that trade. So when you're playing against it, you're actually more so gambling. Uh, than you are trading. So on this one right here, we take this one 
then if we put this right here, actually, so it would be right here, and this one will be coming down. So we are showing this one coming down, this one's coming down, and this one's coming down, but when we start coming back over here, it starts to come back up. So when you're starting to go back up, you don't necessarily take it. You are in three going down. But see where this is coming off of a uh, type of reversal? You know, there's a lot of stuff in here that makes you want to think, should I take that or not? Today was a hard day to trade as well. Today was all over the place. So it was uh, not the easiest day to trade. But it had some good moves. Now I'm using the 20 range in Q on this. You can use this system on any time frame that you want. Uh, I like the range charts. They, they seem to take out a lot of the noise. And I like a 20 when your volume is not too heavy. When your volume's heavier, I go to a 40 range on NQ. But on this one, I like a 20 for the way today moved. So what we're looking for is our trend of our bars, and we're looking for our trend of our indicators down here, the bars, bar momentum and the institution indicator. Now, again, I'm building the um, the um, the lines it's going to you're going to have a oh we call it a um, enabler inside the indicator to turn that on they won't work together but they'll pop up now if it's going down it's going to be red if it's going up it's going to be green so you're going to be able to see that pretty easy and know if it's going to be short or long so let's find an example here Let's just go ahead and delete all that off. Let's just start all over. So if we have this one's coming down from up here to right here, that's coming straight down. Now we're going to be looking right here and see what's going on. So actually to right there, we're going to go ahead and bring this back to right here. And then we're going to take another one. And from here, to here so this one this one is now going up so if you look at the just so you can see the levels better there's space here there's no space there's space and there's no space then we have this one up here there's space right here so divergence is going to work like this if you have this coming down and this one coming up and this one coming up that is a sign of reversal so we're going to be looking for reversals now so what we're looking for now is the sign of reversal but we need an entry so how do we find the entry do we just go ahead and see that this is you know happening right here and enter there no we see the blue we see that this is coming up whereas over here this was coming down so we we didn't have a good long trend here or um where this was starting to come up, we didn't have that good long trend coming down, so we might have missed this. You might have taken it and, and tried to do it. The best thing to do is, since it's a blue, don't get in. We come back over here. We have all these blues. Now, you might have a little red flicker in there, but for the most part, the overall trend is up on your momentum. And when your overall trend is up, and then you start watching down here, and these are all orange, but you have this green one. Our first green one's here, and we have a triangle there. So what do we do? What would you all do? Would you go short there? Would you not do anything? You go long. Because we have a full house. Now we have... This is going up. This one's going up. And this one is going up, right? So now all three of these are going up. Let me get that up there. All three of these are now going up. And with them going up, we want to take longs, right? So when all three of these are going up, 
and we have our entry signal is right here. It's about halfway that candle. It might be a little bit before, might be a little after, but you know, we're going for the example, we're going to use about halfway. And since all three of these are going long, and we have our blue and we have our green, we go long. So when we go long, we hop in here and we have a rule about stacking. You all know what the rule is, but as long as you're staying above your entry, you're fine. Maybe you put a break even here. Maybe you just keep it there. My stop would be right here. Since it went up and started going by, my stop would be right here. There's a $45 stop. And the most you could have got would have been 360. We wouldn't have got that. We know that. When we start seeing this thing wiggle back to blue or red, and we see this is now coming down. So now we have, we look for our lines again. This one's coming down and this one is still going up, but it, it's starting to want to come over here. And this is going sideways here. So since we have a, a stacking here, it's this chop. Since we have this in here, we would want to keep our tight stop on this. We wouldn't want to, you know, stay in forever. So we have all three lines going up. We have our signal here. We have our blue here. That's our entry. Now, how do we get out? Well, when I got in, my profit target would be about right here. I would be looking for the IB mid. That's where I'd be looking for it. It didn't hit it, and that's fine. But as this starts going up, you know, I'm going to just keep my stop down in here because I'm not looking, you know, if it's, if everything is still showing that we're up, I'm going to keep my stop in there kind of tight so I don't lose money, but I'm going to, I'm going to not take profit there. Maybe I do. Today I was in a 12 minute trade and it took forever, but it ended up paying off really big. So this one right here, as soon as it starts going up, I'm going to start moving. I'm going to pretend this is a stop. My stop's gonna be there, it's gonna be there. And then when this one opens up there and pushes up a little bit, I'm gonna leave my stop right here. So my profit would be 205. So we made 165 over there and we made 205 here. And our, our drawdown was hardly nothing. So you're not gonna have a big drawdown on your charts. So that's uh, one trade, so let's go ahead and take another trade. Everybody understand what we're doing here? Making sense? So we come over, we get out of this trade, so what do we do now? We look for the next trade. So let's go ahead and take all this stuff off. Start all over. So now we have a red right here, right? So if we take this, and we don't know that it's coming all the way over here, but I'm just marking the red now. So having the red right through here, then we're going to be looking for red down here. So we don't have to look down here because our bars are telling us that. So our first one would be right here, right? Is that our first one? Would we take that short? Well, let's go back and look at the chart. Would we take the short? I would. And the reason I would is because we have this going up. And now we have this going sideways and we have this oops, going down, right? So if this one's going down, this one's going sideways and that one's going up, you have divergence there. You know, your divergence is mainly right here and right here. But this one is saying that, hey, the momentum stopped and we're not going anywhere. And we have a signal right there and we have red right here. So we take the short. When we take the short, our stop goes right up here. So let's just say that we got in about, uh, let's just say we got in at the bottom. We'd have a hundred dollar stop, give or take. And when this goes down, the most you could have made there is two hundred dollars. I'm, I don't know too many people in here that wouldn't gripe, you know, or complain about taking two hundred dollar profit per contract. That adds up. Remember, we took uh, 200 here, 165 there, so we're up 365. So let's just put this in here so I don't forget. And now we're at 200 here, 
maybe you don't take the profit there. You know, it comes down, pushes down. Maybe you go ahead and put your stop up here on top of this one and it goes up and you take $70. So if you're chasing those candles, that's a legitimate you know, stop out. I, I'll go on with it. So let's add that to it. So we've got 65, that would be what, 435, if I did my numbers right. So you're at 435 right here. Remember, we're just taking little scalps. We're not trying to get this big old long run. We're just trying to come in and scalp it. If you can scalp it, if you can make 100 here, 200 there, maybe 300, sometimes you'll make more. Uh, sometimes you'll make $50. All those add up. The main thing is you don't want to take losses, and you will have losses. You're going to have losses. So we come over here. This is green, but we have red here, right? No trade. There's no trade there. This is all red right here. From right here to right there. So the only thing we're doing is we're looking for these right here. So let's just say that you got in there. Put your stop up there. You got about $150 stop. And when this started going down, started going sideways, maybe you got out or not. I don't know. I wouldn't have. Because now look at our divergence. Or trend, rather, not divergence. Hard to get that line in there. So this one's coming down, this one's coming down, and guess what? Now this one's coming down, right? So now we have this one. It's actually about right there. This one's coming down, right? So if this one's coming down, this one's coming down, and this one's coming down, it's good to stay in the trade, right? So if you did, and you come down, and you come up, maybe you got stopped out right there. There's $100. So there's another trade that you would have made. So now you're up 535, right? So you're up $535 here. The, a lot of people would be perfectly fine with $500. And you know, if you're doing most of the most of the people in the group are trading uh, two plus contracts, the majority. So if you're trading two contracts, you're up $1,070. And if you're doing the apex thing to where you're going across 20 accounts, you know, you only needed one of those to make a lot of money. But if you made this one and trading the two contracts like we've been trading, that'd be a thousand dollars times 20 would be 20,000 if you were doing that and if you didn't have any losses. So, you know, no guarantees of what you'll make, but in this scenario, that's what you'd make. Now, I didn't, I just went back a little bit. And this is today, so I'm not cherry picking any at all. This is just how we traded today. So on this one, if you got out right there, would you get in here? No, because you don't have another signal. Now what you could do, as long as you're staying red here, and you're st staying red here, you could stay in the trade. Yeah, maybe you, maybe you rode this out. I mean, the most you could have made was 395. But you know, what if this would just kept on going up? That's the whole thing. That's where people mess up. They try to get in a trade and stay in the trade. And when you do that, you usually end up losing money. It's what you end up doing. Because you're trying to go for the big one. Just take little scalps all day. And as long as you take those little scalps, you're going to make a lot more money in the long run. So let's look for the next trade. Right here it is, right? So let's go ahead and delete all this stuff on here because we're done with all that. And let's go ahead and look at this right through here. So you've got from right here over to right here is all blue. So if that's blue, and right now you've got divergence again. This is coming down. And uh, this is starting to go this way. And this one is going this way. So you've got divergence here. So that's a good sign you're going to reverse and go the opposite way. So on this one, your entry would be about midways. The most you could have got was 225. For me, when that pushed up all the way up, my stop would be right there. So it's a $30 profit. That's if you, I mean, that's a minimum my stop. I might have had it higher. I don't know what I would have done for sure. But at minimum would have been thirty dollars. Well, thirty dollars is adds up.
It only costs you four dollars to make the trade to take it. This short right here, you don't take it. Why? Because this is all blue right here. So you don't take that short. So you avoid that chop. You come up here. You don't take this one either because it is blue down here. Now this one right here, when it gives a double signal like that, you got a long and a short, just don't even take it. You're going sideways here. You're better off just stay out of it. Does this all make sense? So you would have missed this short because you're blue. And when you come over, this is blue over in here. Now here's the tricky one. And this is something that is going to be discretionary upon the, the actual trader. What you want to do is make sure that you're in the blue territory. That way when you're watching it and you see this turn into orange and you're above the zero line, I'd be taking it. I would take that trade. So on this one, I would be looking to get in probably rolling through here, have me a tight stop down here and put it down one bar down and then let it go. And then when, as soon as you see this green one, then you're like, yeah, we're going to stay in. The most you could have made would have been to right here. So it's $470. But you know what? When this thing keeps on going up, as long as it keeps going up and our bars momentum is going up, then we just, and our stop would be here. And when that pulled back and then opened up again, we don't move our stop. When it's going sideways, we leave it right there like we always do. And then when this pushes up, our stop's going to be there. It's going to be here. And then when that one goes up, you're going to be right there. So your $310 is realistically where you would be on this trade. Worst case scenario is you'd be right there at the bottom of this one at 270. So roughly $300 you'd make on that. So now we had um, uh, 535, so it's 7805, right? So now we got 805 in profit to right here. And the only thing we did was trust the darn indicators. So we keep on going. Did we get any more any, any more trades over here? No. Like this one here. Uh, our red is right here. So there's our red. We don't have any down arrows. So we don't take any trades. Those up ones, yes, that was a good trade. That was a bad trade. That was a good trade. You would have made money, but it goes against what we're doing. And then you come over. And you got a little bit of blue right here. There's no signal. So let's go ahead and go over to the next one. So this one is going to be red right there to right here. So do we take that trade? Sure. You know, we have a down. We have this is down and this is down. Everything's in alignment to go short. So yeah, take that short. Um, this one right here. You would enter right here. Your stop had been up here. You would have cleared all this. It starts going sideways. Maybe you got out of the trade based on our rules that we follow. Maybe you stayed in as long as this is red. And this one is coming down. You stay in the trade. So, I mean, worst case, you know, once this goes over and it starts dropping, you know, I guess it depends on how you would have worked this one out. But as soon as it starts dropping, I would have been chasing the candles. Okay, so my stop would have been right there for an R370. That's how I would have traded that. So if we have 805, now we've got what, 1175? If I'm doing my math right, all of you'd be done by this point. And we started at, um, when did we start rolling through here? Around 11 o'clock or so. So we're trading the really not the best market either. But that's how we use it. We use the institution indicator, the bar's momentum, and then our levels, we're looking right here for our balance and our IB. That's what we're looking for in levels. And as you can see, we come right down to the balance level of the TP1 and bounce. One tick below it. Two ticks. Two ticks below it. So coincidence? I think not. Then we come up here and hit it again. And bounced off. Now, would we have taken this short? No, because we're blue. We're blue through here, so we don't take that. And we're green back in here, so that's not a short. You're not going to take that. 
Now, if you would have closed out here, would you have taken this one right here? Nope, because this is blue. You would have missed that. That's fine. We're up 11.75. Have we had any losing trades? Nope. Sure haven't. So let's keep on going. You have this one right here. You know, you've got a lot of green back in here and stuff. That's so probably not a good trade. Usually, your best ones are when you go from green to orange and then to red. Those are your best ones. But when you go from green to red, it's usually not good. But, you know, we look down here, we can see that we are what? We're going up, right? So this is a good sign that longs is in play here. Just like right here, we would have taken, well, no, because that's red down below, but you could have taken a long there. You would have made just a little bit, not very much, but you could have. You could have made money there. So does everybody kind of understand what we're doing here? You can uh, chat in the general voice chat in the Discord. So what we're looking for is our, we want to make sure that everything's in alignment in order to take those shorts. If they're not in alignment, and if they are in alignment for a short, and then you get a long signal, you know, it's probably not a good idea, but this down here is going to keep you out of that anyway. So you just have to verify what you're looking for. This one right here, would you take that one? No, because you're blue. This would not have been a signal. That red didn't happen until after this started closing, so we wouldn't take it. Wouldn't take that one. Wouldn't take uh, this one right here. May have taken that long for a loss right there. Depends on how you have played it. Uh, come back over here. You see all the chop you're in. Uh, this one right here is green, and your blue here, you're going up. This is going up, so you take the long. Get in here, the most you could have made would be 210 If you can make $100, $150 per contract, take it. Why not? Uh, this one right here has a, a short, but we're blue, so no. This one has a short, and we're red, so we take it. Yes, there's a little bit of chop in here, but you could have gotten $190. You know, so you look at it realistically, probably $100, $150 you could have got. You could have, you could have taken it. You all seen me trade. You know how I do. I move my stops really quick. Um, sometimes I get stopped out and then it runs. I'm fine with that. I don't want to lose money. And you all saw the, uh, the counts today. I mean, it's up there. So on this one right here, would we take in this one here? No, because we're blue. We don't take it. This one here is green. Do we take it? No, we're red, uh, red down here. And it just goes all the way through. Where we are right now, there's no signal there. Right here was a short. That's what it showed, but we have two signals, a long and a short. We don't take it. Remember when I told you when you got two signals on the same one, same decision, you don't take it. So right now, there's our signal. So we're on the SIM account. So right there, we can go ahead and take it. And what I will be doing is immediately take my profit and put it up there. I'm going to keep my stop here. And this is a SIM account. It's not a live account. And then as this goes up, if we don't feel comfortable, we close out. And if it keeps on going, then we take it. Right here, we're going up, and this one is kind of coming down, so it's not the best. Now we've got a red signal in there, so there's a stop. So we have a red right here, and we have a red there, and we've got our TP1 here. So you could take a short there, and you can move this down here. Now our trend is bullish right here, right? So once you get down there, have your stop ready. Then when this pushes down, you go ahead and put your stop in there. So our trend is up, and that's our that's our whole issue here. Since we have a trend up, and these are coming down, we have divergence. And anytime you have divergence, you're going to have a little bit of chop at first. So we we'll go ahead and wait. We got a blue again. 
Now we're coming back up. We won't wait on our green. Our trend is going up. We had two small stop outs, no big deal. Let's see how we're going sideways here. So this one is going down. This one is going down. And this one is going up. So it's a sign that we're going to reverse here. More than likely, we are going to go short, more than likely, back to the TP1. So right there's our green, we have a blue, so we go ahead and take our long. Go ahead and move it up. We're in chop right now, and it's uh, noon, so of course, uh, noon we do have chop. But as long as our signals are the same, we have blue here and we have green there, then we take it. Now, everywhere we've been, it's been working pretty good. But again, right now it's around noon. It's hard to trade then. Our divergence is in here. It's showing that a possible short because we're going up there and this is coming down. So we, we had those three stops right there. Just wait. Wait for a new signal. I picked the wrong time to try to show you how to trade that because we are at noon. And anytime you have your alignments together, now like these, you had divergence here. And when you have the divergence, you're better off not to trade. A lot of times you can catch a good little trade in there. But see this right here with it going up and these coming down, that is a sign that we are reversing. Now we're down below the zero. This one right here is down below the zero. So this one right here was actually a good short and we didn't take yet and we would have made on that one. But if you miss the signal, you don't get in down here. You get in at the signal because you'll probably end up messing up. But when you have the divergence like that, you're better off not to take that because it will probably bite you. And that's what happened with us. So right there we come down to the TP1. So we had our false signals here, which we probably shouldn't have taken only because we had our divergence in there. So the ones we took, we shouldn't have, and then the one we didn't, we should have. When I get the indicator done to where it shows these lines, eventually what we're going to do is make it to where they will see each other and then throw a signal that's going to help. But since we miss that short, we don't jump in. We just wait. There's going to be another signal come up. And when you get the next signal, that's when you do it. You may get a reversal here and go up. But since our bar's momentum is red, we would wait for the next short signal. If we turn blue and then we get the green signal, then we go ahead and go long. Now, right now, we still have our divergence. But we have this one's coming up now. So this one's coming up. We're still coming down here. And this one's coming down. So right now, if this goes up, we're not going to take any longs here because we have a red bar down here now if we get a blue bar and then we get the green signal then we'd want to take it so you just wait and if you miss one you miss it you'll get another trade there's our blue so now we know that we are blue from here to wherever it's going to be. This will probably pull back. And then if it pulls back and then comes back up and then we get the green, then we'll take that green long. Right now, this is below zero. This one's above zero. 
So this one's showing bullish. This one is leaning bullish, but it's still on the bearish side. And what we'll do is whenever we enter the trade, we will go ahead and put it up to here. There's our pullback. Now we're, we're still got the blue down here and we're waiting on this. When this starts pull, um, reversing to come back up, if it does, it won't be long, we'll get a green signal. And once you get that green signal, then you're good to go. There's our green signal. So we're going to go ahead and put our buy order in. We're going to raise this up. We're close at TP1, so it's not really the best place because you'll get a lot of chop there sometimes. Then once this shoots up, then we'll get our stop up there to where we can protect profit. Now if you wanted, you could put your stop right here right now. I'm going to wait until it pushes up a little more. Once it pushes up and gets a new bar in, then we'll go ahead and add our stop in and make this bigger. And it may come down and stop you out right there, but you know if it does, that's fine. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable, you just go ahead and close it out. There's $200 right there you could take to get our stop in. And then we're going to drag it up here. And we're going to chase this on down and wherever it goes, we're going to have our stop ready to go at that spot. If we get stopped out there, we don't get back in the trade. We wait on a new signal. There we go. So again, you could have taken profit up here if you wanted. If you're just looking to try to make a few hundred dollars at a time, you could have made that right there. If you're trying to go for the longer, there it goes. So we ended up pulling back and then took off. So right there would have been a really good long. So we got in about right here and it went up. There's $600 right there. But because we moved our stop up there to protect profit, we missed out on this right here. But that's fine. You still, you didn't lose money. And that's what you got to remember. So on this one, we're going to delete all this stuff off. And then we're going to come back over here and we're going to keep this blue because of this right here. And we are going to make our arrows. So we have this going up. We have this one going up and we have this one going up. So with these three going up, that means long. So if this pulls back, we're still blue. If we get another signal to go long because it's turned orange down here and right here. Now if we get this reversal to go up and get a green signal, then we take it. It's just that easy. Does this make sense? Can you follow this? There's our green signal. So we're going to go ahead and get in. Oops, we shouldn't have got in there because this was red, but so we shouldn't have got in there. I didn't see it until it was too late. Still worked out for us. So right there, we can go ahead and put our stop in just to protect our profit. This up here, we want to make this all the way up. If it runs, we wanted to get the whole thing. It may just take off on us. We get our stop ready for that candle right there. As soon as it pushes up, it gets a new bar, then we'll go ahead and put our stop in. Get it ready for the next one. So there's $550 right there if you want to close it out. So there's $500 scalp. And all the thing we did was follow the arrows. This was red right here, so I didn't see it, but it ended up working out. As long as your three lines are going together, you know, you got your three arrows. So if it's staying longs, that's what you take. So we were around 1100 and some dollars, I think. And then um, 
well, of course, we didn't count all these, but if you take those uh, right here out, I think we were, what, 150 a piece or so, I think. But these three, wherever we were over here, when we took those, I think it was right here, uh, we shouldn't have been taking them anyway because we had divergence. So what you want to do is trade with the uh, line. If all three of them are going the same direction, you're, you want to trade that way. And that's where I messed up over here. I wasn't paying attention. So now we have a red arrow. And we have red right here. But we have divergence, right? So this one's going there. And this one's going there. So right here we have divergence, right? This one's going up, these two are going down, so we're looking for a reversal. But what happens is whenever you get this, you're really better off to wait for the second signal because, or even the third, but you wanna to wait to see this thing to start going to the same trend as these two. And if they are, then you get in the trade and you're safer on your trades. So you might miss the first um, one or two trades on it, but that's fine. You got plenty of trades. How many trades do we have right here? Oh, we had uh, two right here. Those two trades would have paid your whole day just doing that. So right now we have, uh, we'll just say this is all red right here. So this right here is all red. So we're looking for shorts right here. So we're starting to get our trend to come down. So now if you go back, you can start seeing our trend is starting to come down. That would actually have been a good signal uh, based on this right here. But just wait, it'll pull back. And when it pulls back, then you can hop in the next one. If you miss one, don't jump in. Just wait. I'm going to work on... Uh, um, a type of indicator that will sync all these together. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. But this one right here, if you would have got in, which, you know, if when you're sitting there uh, trying to show people stuff, you miss things. But this one have been roughly $300 you could have gotten. And you probably would still be in the trade. Yeah, you just kept on moving it down. And this will probably end up going to here eventually, maybe. But we do have our levels over here. So does this make sense for everybody? Does this help you in, in your manual trading, how to do it? These indicators are only available in the Ninja Suite. So the people that are in the Ninja Suite have access to all this. There's our uh, um, support for right here. And right here is probably where we're going though. High below. But that would have been a really good short, but missed it yakking. If I would have had my line drawn here, it would have been fine. So the way it's going to work on the, the indicator is right now this will be showing it would actually be showing it like this right now. Tony, I think you can use it, buddy. The indicators work really well, but this is how the um, the line would actually be drawn at this current time. And this one would be, um, be drawn like that. And this one would be, actually let's see, would, this one would be like that. That's how these levels will be made right now. So when you see all three of them going short, 
And if you have a red and you have a red arrow, then you take shorts. Well, I'm going to end this stream um, in the sense uh, I'm going to put this on YouTube. So I'm going to show how you can actually get the Ninja Suite, how it actually works, how you can get these indicators and so forth. So if you go into spymoneyllc.com and you click on the Ninja Suite, you come down here. This is a little video right here that will show you uh, what the Ninja Suite's about. And then down here, we give you all the indicators on the website, plus you get the indicators that we just went over and many more in the Ninja Suite package. And then you also get, there's four bots listed here, but we have six that we're doing. Two of them we're still kind of working on a little bit, Coastal and Crime. Uh, so we have six different bots, auto trading bots that we use. Uh, live trading, I don't do that that often, but I do it. Uh, live training, I do almost daily. The Discord room, in the Discord room, I post charts, news, call-outs, trainings, trades, um, just in general, the help, uh, just if you're having trouble with something, then I help a lot in there. Uh, a lot of questions answered. The Discord's probably one of the key parts of all this. Uh, I mean, the indicators and bots are great, but the, this right here is really good, having the access to the Discord. And if you have any questions for me, you can go in here, click on contact, and put your information in here. I'll be happy to help you. Uh, I respond pretty quick. I usually don't wait around on it. And if you need to talk to me, I'm willing to talk. Just put your phone number. Put your um, time zone in here so I know uh, when to call. If you say 3 o'clock or something, I, I don't know when 3 o'clock is. Uh, we have people all over the world. And then the funded accounts. If you don't have the money to fund your account and you want to trade, we have three different ones. A bunch of us are doing the Apex accounts, 20 accounts, and we're trading those daily. So if you make $100, you're actually making $2,000. So in the scenario that I just showed you, it doesn't take very long to make a lot of money. If you're looking for something to where you need money now, you profit would be the one that you want to go with. There's coupons down here. Uh, the 70% coupon is, they're not going to extend it, so I need to take this off. Uh, but you still get 50% coupon off of this. For some reason that they run a huge sale, you can still use this coupon and it will give you the same percentage as everybody else. The UProfit uh, code is the right here. And what you want to do is just click on these up here. And when you click on them, put your codes in, coupon codes, and then you'll get your discount. But if you have any questions, like I said, just go to contact and let me know. Uh, Ninja Suite is a very good package. It works great. Uh, we have a lot of people that are doing very well with it. We have some people learning, and um, I think everybody will do real well. And the indicators that I just went over right here, you can see that they actually do well. And when I get the divergence indicators done, uh, that will be today or tomorrow, I hope. Uh, once I get that done, that's going to help us in our trading. It's going to let you know what's going on without having to draw lines or anything. It's just automatically going to happen. Uh, this one up here, you know, this would be a down arrow, um, and it would be a red. And these would be red, but if it's going up, it would be green. So it's easy, easy to visualize uh, what is happening. But if you have any questions or anything, let me know. Uh, be happy to help you. Have a good day.